Hello, I'm Tilan Dimanthar from Uvela University of Sri Lanka and in this video I am going to describe what is encapsulation, why encapsulation and how to use encapsulation in C Sharp. I have created a class called employee and let's create some variables. Sorry. Private int experience private double salary I created these two variables using private access modifier so the reason is using private access modifier so then we cannot access this way these variables from another class let's see in class program I have created an employee class object but what here I try to do is I try to access the experience variable using this employee object but you can see there is an error so we cannot access these variables directly from another class then how to access these variables using from another class okay we have to create a way to access these variables from another class okay let's write a method okay public int get experience okay return experience now we will be able to access the experience variable using get exp method ok let's try to access experience variable from get exp method ok now we can access get exp method ok now you can see there is no error which means we can successfully access this experience variable from this program class ok let's print this console dot right line console dot read key right so let's run this to make sure whether we successfully access the experience variable or not ok let's run this and you can see there is a 0 which means the default value of integer because we didn't set a value for experience ok it shows it shows the default value of integer so it means we can successfully access these private variables using this get and set methods ok and I created the set method for experience here ok let's 
let us first set a value for the experience okay e1 dot set txp so it asking us integer parameter okay let's put 5 so we are set 5 for the experience value okay let's run this again and you can see the answer is 5 and we can do the same thing using properties in C sharp okay let's try double capital S salary and brackets get and set using this capital is salary we can get and set values for the salary okay let's set first to set the value for salary we use keyword value okay salary is equal to value so when we assigning value for the capital is salary that value will assigning for the salary variable here okay so how to get return salary okay using this capital is salary property we can get and set value for the experience okay to access the capital list salary from another class i used public access modifier using this public access modifier we can access the capital list salary from another class okay let's try so you can see the capital is salary is showing and we can directly assign a value for the capital S salary and let's print the value of salary console dot right line e1 salary console read key ok so we can assign value for salary and retrieve the value of salary so we can do the both get and set operations using this capital S salary property let's let's run this okay you can see the value is displaying 2000 so that means we can we can access the private variables using get set methods and using the properties of C sharp okay then the problem is why do we need encapsulation why do we need the get and set and methods okay let's assume you need to control the access of experience variable okay okay consider the set txp method so the experience cannot be a minus value so 
using this so 11 directly access to the experience variable yeah. anyone can assign minus value for the experience okay let's if experience sorry value is less than zero experience is zero so which means the experience cannot be a minus value okay else else which means greater than no equal to zero that value you can assign for the experience okay and I created another employee object called e2 and set the experience of e2 to minus 5 okay and print the experience value okay let's run this and here is the output it is 0 so you cannot assign a minus value for the experience so that's we, why we need encapsulation we need to control the access of some properties some variables and some methods okay so this is why we are using encapsulation